Baseball Show. We are here with a special signing week episode. We're looking uh, Generation Next, some of the top 2022s in, uh, you know, throughout New Jersey. And we've got flamethrowing senior Cam Leiter from uh, down the shore, Central Regional High School, um, with his crazy uh, story for us and how he got to where he is and how he's got to uh, head to the University of Central Florida. Um, just signed there. And uh, welcome, Cam. Thanks for coming on. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. So let's let's start out with UCF, right? Great, great team. You know, it's like the, the always uh, people thinking they're like one of those schools that's always kind of on the edge of making the leap to to the kind of super regional and and maybe the World Series someday. Mm -hmm. um, how did we get there? And uh, first of all, I got to be pretty excited, I guess, to be going there. Yeah, yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, it's a great program, and what uh, what the coaching staff and you know the ac academic advisors and everything, uh, what they're doing over there is they're doing a great job. Coach Love's awesome, and he's a winner, which is really important to me. He wins a lot of ball games. When he was at Wright State, he's a winner. He, he won uh, in his career at Miami College World Series, so he's just a winner, and and I. I really applaud that, and they do a great job over there, just keeping it as a, like a family atmosphere, and and um, really li listening to their players. Coach Audi, the pitching coach, um, he was he was the main recruiter for me. Me and him have a great relationship, and it could be about baseball, it could be about anything. You know, he does a great job of just connecting with the players. And then uh, UCS recruiting coordinator, Coach Tom, he's a awesome guy, great coach, and they all. It's just a great coaching staff over there, family atmosphere, and. Uh, I really enjoy it. Enjoy being down there for my official, um, and I'm excited. I'm excited for the future. Yeah, it should be. It's a, you know, as we get in the cold season here and yeah. start thinking about the next couple of years in Orlando, that's not a bad thought at all, right? Yeah, yeah. The warm weather is definitely a, a kicker for the for the baseball players, but uh, I'm excited. Obviously, warm weather. It's a great spot. So. Excited. And you just took your official visit there right before signing week, right? That weekend before. Yes, sir. You know your uh, your journey to to this point isn't the uh, the t it hasn't been the, the the most normal or linear in any stretch, right? Yeah. You know, most uh, big time D one pitching prospects don't have ten years in Canada on their uh, on their <laughs> resume, right? So so uh, you just came back to Jersey. You said. Um, Really, last year was your first year of playing, right? Because COVID was wiped out sophomore year, right? Yes, sir. So, so tell us how you got here. Um, you know, and 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 you know how happy you are to, to be in this spot right now. Right. Uh, yeah. So I was born born in Land Lakes, Florida. Um, lived there just little kid, up to five years old, and then moved to Canada, uh, and then lived there for ten years. Um, obviously the being a Canadian, it was very cool, you know, great people, and especially I lived in British Columbia, so way out on the West Coast, Northwest. Yeah. Right above. So different life, different way of people, especially, you know, living in Jersey, Jersey Shore, Northeast <laughs> people are probably a little bit different than Canadians. Uh, but, you know, it was great living up there. Like I said, the baseball was good. You know, Lang Langley Blaze the program I played for was a awesome program. You know, they did a lot for me, just teaching me about the right way to go about the game. Um, and, uh, yeah, so made the decision to move here, you know, a couple of things found the place and, uh, I, I actually hadn't ever, I never even came to Jersey. It was my, when I came here October 4th, that was my first time stepping in here. Wow. Um, I loved it right away. Um, went in, I was either, I was deciding between going to Tom's over South with Kenny Frank, mm -hmm. um, legendary, legendary coach over there. Great program. They got, they got going on. And then Central, Central Regional. And uh, I just thought going to Central would be maybe a little bit cooler. My Actually, my other cousin, Johnny, uh, he went to St. Peter's. He he went to South. Um, and he had nothing but great things to say. But I thought Central might have been a little bit a little bit cooler. I'm the last lighter until, uh, I guess, we had kids. So nobody went to Central besides, uh, you know, the first generation of them. So I thought it'd be cool, you know, get to wear the number 22 and – Hopefully the end goal is to bring a state championship back to the school, just like my uh, uncle Al did. Yeah, I mean, obviously just being around baseball, the lighter name's pretty big, especially in Jersey. And you go down to the tournaments and now uh, it's really, 
surprisingly, it's, it is all Jack, really. It's not really Uncle Al or my Uncle Mark or my, Mark Jr. Uh, had a great year. He's been up in the bigs, had a great year in AAA with the Tigers. Um, it's mostly Jack, but obviously, you know, newer generation, Jack's a big name and he's a great guy. So all the, all the, all the applauds to him. Um, but isn't that, isn't that crazy though, when you think about it, because the, the three of them have all had, I mean, obviously Al has had the, the longest, you know, yeah. and the, and, and especially in this area, you know, right. with the, with, but, but, you know, with, with Mark senior and junior, Right. You know, it's three major leaguers, and now it's like, eh. My dad, them- my dad also, uh, my dad played uh, at Oklahoma State for three years, and then he played with the Orioles up to up to Double A. He didn't make it to the big leagues, but you know, Double A, pretty good career. Um, so they, he was the first one; he was the oldest one to make it. Then it was Mark Senior, then it was Al, and then second generation Mark Junior. Now Jack stepping in. It's like Jack's wiped them all out, though. Yeah. <laughs> Mark Jr. Mark Jr.'s had a great career too. Yeah. Uh, what a what a story he has too. I crazy story. You know, under not a not a big time high school guy at all, high school recruit, you know, had I think it was maybe one or two offers. Went to NJ went to NJIT as an up and coming program. But right before they got good. Right. And not not really not a flame throwing right handed pitcher at all. You know, just knew how to pitch and, and had had a lot of pitches and you know was a co- really good competitor. And then out of there, he gets drafted as a 22nd rounder to the Phillies. Yeah. You know, all, I guess all the odds were really stacked against him. Um, but I know, I know if you talk to him, he didn't feel that way. He's, he's a no. great, great human being. And uh, he's, he's, he's a dude. He, he, he's, he's the, awesome. So he's got the lighter competitive gene in him. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Now, do, so, now do you too, or are you kind of that bulldog on the mound too, or? Yeah. So definitely uh, the lighter gene is, teaches competitiveness obviously when you know you have the thanksgiving and the christmas dinners the baseball stories those guys my my dad mark al they're just competitors they just want to go out and pitch and uh, win ball games so i think that seeps into us as you know looking up to uh, our uncles and our fathers um and it's fun it's obviously it's fun competing but i love it obviously jersey shore jersey shore high school baseball there's it's competitive baseball and you got the trash talk and especially our school at Central, we have, we have a pit, we have students come out to the game. And I think at our Ocean County Championship game, we must had, we had a football pit. We must had two, maybe 250 uh, students at the game. They storm the field and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a big support system. But yeah, just competing on the mound, obviously it's fun. The biggest thing, most important thing to me is just winning ball games for my team. I love winning and I hate losing more than I love winning. So whenever I can put myself in the position to win, uh, I do it. So, yeah, staying under control, though, I, I, I really I mean, you know, sometimes you get in the midst of the game and uh, you show emotion, you might, you know, do something to the dugout. I, I, I know I've done it before. I know there's video out there, but um, I, I don't like doing it. I like staying under control, level headed, you know, until the game's done. And I, I usually do do a good job at that. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's fun. I, lo- I love hearing it. I hear it from the dugout, you know, about you know, the lighter stuff and Jack and Uncle Al. Um, I actually was surprised. I heard it a lot in high school, obviously, here at Jersey Shore, but I even heard it in summer ball, you know, playing with the teams. But I just think – I think it's funny. I, I Obviously, it's – I mean, some of the stuff the kids even say, I think about it. I'm like, oh, that's a good one. That's funny. <laughs> you know, you hear the Canada stuff or Uncle Al or where's Jack. But um, right. I think it's cool because, you know, most of the time I, I don't know any of these kids and – I definitely don't know who their uncles and cousins are, so they know who I am and the cousins and cousins and uncles. So it's all it's all in good fun, obviously. Yeah, um, being out on the field, being out on the field is the best thing in life. So yeah, and, and the fact that you you know you you didn't have to come back to to the the Jersey Shore. I mean, there, you you know, there's a lot of family history there that you know you could have gone somewhere else to. So yeah. you knew you were gonna get. You know what I'm saying? You could have gotten. Could have been, could have picked an easier route, I think, probably. But yeah. you know, the, yeah. does it does it mean more to, to come back here at, the, at this point? Yeah, yeah, it means a lot, especially now that I really went to Central and I felt the the history yeah. and the truth and playing a baseball program. Like, man, am I happy that you know I didn't go up north or I didn't go to? I want to, you know, I want to be in the shore. I want to get the trash talk. I want to, you know, have that. I want to have that competitiveness. You can't really get it much places else. 
Um, and just being at Central is, is really important to me. Um, and that's why this year, you know, winning a state championship is very important to me. I Just the school, Central, in my opinion, just does a great job with us. And I love I love going, I love waking up and going to school. They, they do a great job. Sports is very important to them. And obviously academics are pushed on us, but as well as, you know, sports and doing well and success. If you've noticed that we are toughing it out here and we, we brave some uh, internet troubles and, and magically Cam is called back in on his phone and we are uh, we are talking about the uh, the crazy lighter family uh, history here. And uh, um, but, but I guess another thing that's kind of interesting is instead of being uh, one of the, the you know great line of, of, of baseball talent to come through this area with a lighter name, I guess you almost were uh, the hockey, the, the first hockey guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. I uh, Obviously, growing up in Canada, hockey's a big thing. So just took it up, uh, started playing it when I was four. Um, and that was really my sport. I played, you know, hockey. Hockey starts in August there. And I played that till probably about April. And then I would play baseball in between, you know, March, April, start playing baseball. And then May, June, July, play baseball and jump back into hockey. Um, so that was really my sport for the, uh, for the most part was hockey. And so, you know, after the eighth grade year, I realized, um, you know, baseball was really my thing and that's what I wanted to do. So stopped playing that, had a year, one more year of just playing baseball in Canada and then ended up making a move to Jersey. So, uh, yeah, that's how that, really that went. Now it's become relatively known around here that, that Jack was sort of a late bloomer physically and and, and right. you kind of were the same way I guess you're saying yeah yeah that's really how um most of us lighters are I mean even my other cousin Mark Jr he was a you know a late bloomer just yeah really bloomed college um, right so tips out to all the college coaches just look for that and next time you see a lighter they'll, they'll probably be a late bloomer but that's right yeah I, I was uh, I was small I was five eight uh what five, five eight summer of freshman year and now I'm a pretty big dude six five two oh five trying to get a little bigger but um yeah it's definitely definitely uh happens you see recruiting nowadays a lot of kids committing early and you know a lot of these kids are physically matured which obviously isn't their fault they just physically matured earlier than some other kids but um it ends up leveling out uh you know as a junior and senior you know we're all in the same maturity now so um yeah just uh, that's how it goes, you know. Yeah, no, and, and obviously didn't, you know, didn't impact you too much. I mean, it, it's yeah. everybody kind of was off your sophomore year anyway. Right. And, and also <laughs> come back and dominate as a junior. And uh, now I guess the, one of the biggest goals for the offseason for you is just get a little, you know, put on some good weight. Uh, yeah, so I started this winter off, or I guess after the fall season, I was 193. I actually remember the number. I was 193. Wow. And uh, – so now I'm I'm up to 205. I fluctuate, you know, 203, 206, 205. Um, so that's where I'm at now. Hopefully, you know, get to one, uh, 210 by, by the season. But I'm I'm really just letting the weight do its thing. Um, I'm kind of a lankier build. I don't really have to worry about putting on too much weight. So just whatever right. helps weight, strength, muscle. Um, being in the weight room a lot has been has been a big thing. So um, just doing that, putting on the right weight and being smart in the weight room and just trying to stay healthy is, is the most important thing for me. Yep. And, and, and live it in the low nines in the, uh, in the fall, but we're, we're hoping to get a little bit, you know, maybe 95, 96 by, uh, you know, the spring. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely a goal. And uh, I mean, I guess every kid says it and, you know, some people might be like, Oh, is that, is that really, achieve is that really achievable? But uh, at least for me, you know, my pitch to people will probably be, I think it's achievable just because of that whole late bloomer thing. Um, yeah. And I really, I really hadn't, I wish I did get into it a little bit earlier, but really had not got into the weight room um, until my junior, you know, the, before my junior year. Um, my dad's not a huge, you know, there he's kind of old school. He's not a huge uh, weight room guy. He thinks, you know, baseball is a lot of mobility and, and finesse and just having the right body staying healthy and arm speed and whatnot. So started just getting into the weight room, you know, lifting actually heavy weight, not just, you know, the 20 pounds and the, the free weights. Right. Uh, and just started getting into a junior year. And then obviously this year I've been hitting it a lot harder, um, really having a serious plan following it. Uh, so I, I think it's achievable. You know, I have, I have a lot left in the tank, I think, but 
we'll see when we get there. Just uh, we'll see, I guess. Yeah, we feel like the best is yet to come, right? Yes, sir. Of course. Everybody, everybody says that, I guess. That's right. Now I'll tell you with some random, some some good random questions here. Yes, sir. Um, one sport, if you could be B1 and it wasn't baseball, would it be hockey or would it be another one? Uh, it would be definitely basketball. I, I want to be like a high, high flyer pointing to the student sections or something like that. That's what I would do. Yeah. You, uh, you, you play a lot of basketball or? Yeah, I used to, I used to play ball, but uh, I couldn't hang with some of the, some of the dudes. Got to, had to put the ball, I had to know what, what sport I was really good at. So. Can we dunk though is the question. Yeah, I can. You know, I can do a little dunks. Nothing crazy. Maybe a little rim graze action you'll see out of me. But yeah, I'm like crazy. I'm like five nine with no vertical leap, so I don't care what kind of dunk it is, it's good. Yeah. There so, you go. Um pre-game ritual, anything that, that has to be there. Pre-start, pre-start ritual, obviously. Um, I'm a really low maintenance guy. Um, even if it comes to, you know, like a throwing routine, maybe some people will cringe at this, but you know, if I got to speed it up, I'll speed it up and I'll get to where I got to be. I, my whole thing is I'm really big on the mental game and being prepared. Um, now, I, I love if all my teammates would probably tell you, I'm, I love joking around and having fun and just enjoying life, really, uh, when it's at practice or, you know, but when it's start day or when it's game time, uh, it's all business. You know, I'm not much smiling. I'm focused on the task at hand because uh, I don't really, you know, I like to say I think uh, some kids could look at it this way, but I look at, at the other team and every kid on that other team is they're just, they're taking my money away, whether it's college money or pro money, that's just how they are. And, you know, I don't want my money taken away just like they probably don't want it. So it's, we'll see who gets the best out of, out of each other. So that's how I look at it. I'm, I go in there just trying to be a dog and trying to win games for my team. One thing that's on your bucket list. Ooh, probably go to the Coliseum. I want to go to the Coliseum. I love the UFC and boxing. I love fighting. Not well, I shouldn't say that. I love uh, the sport of fighting. Watching. You like watching fighting. I like watching. I don't want to put that out there. I love, I love <laughs> watching fighting. I'm not a fighter. Right, uh, right. No, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> no, no. But uh, no, I love I love fighting. I love just the, uh, the art of it. So Coliseum would definitely be my choice. We just passed Halloween. What was your favorite Halloween costume growing up? Halloween, uh, I wasn't a big costume guy. I probably went with like the baseball <laughs> player, the nerd, or something. I wasn't a big guy. I was a big That's costume. A I wasn't challenge. getting. I wasn't. I think one time I remember actually. This was in like second grade. I went as like a baseball werewolf. That I, I have no idea how I came up with that, and I ended up just ripping the costume off and just just rocking, <laughs> rocking, uh, rocking a baseball jerseys or something like that. There you go. People are gonna give kids candy no matter what they show up. In, yeah, right? just go up and say trick or treat. You you should be good. I end up with the same candy as the nice costume guy. So that's right. Who really, who really won? So, so who won? That's right. Yeah. Um. What now? I guess like, what is your favorite professional team, um, regardless of sport? Ooh, favorite professional team. Um. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'm a Bucks fan. Wow. Um, no ban no bandwagon. I, I I was born in Land Lakes, Florida. It's okay. Tampa area. Yeah, but you but, said uh, you said you were only there until you were five. That doesn't yeah, you were so you were made me like the Bucks. Made me like the Bucks. Okay. Um, obviously obviously Tom Brady being there is awesome. Just that the team that they, being a Super Bowl champ, uh or reigning Super Bowl champs is obviously fun as a viewer, as a favorite favorite team to watch but uh yeah probably i'd probably say the bucks or you know you got to go with the rangers or uh wherever mark jr ends up just supporting the family that's right that's right that's it. well uh we'll, we'll finish with this what's a one one piece of advice or a quote that that really has stuck with you well um probably not really off the baseball point but uh just treat people the way you want to be treated just being a good human being, trying to be uh, the best person. Uh, I'd probably say that, just treat people the way you want to be treated, pretty self-explanatory. Definitely, definitely. Yes, Cam, we uh, certainly enjoyed the time. We we know who our favorite lighter is. <laughs> so. oh, I got to earn the hearts over uh, Jack or something like that. That's right, that's right. Now, how long has it been since Central Regionals won a state title then? Has it been since your, uh, your uncle was pitching? Yeah, it was uh, 84, uh, 84, I believe. They yeah. won the uh, group three title. So 
another one thing I work is they uh yeah. I I taught in Ewing Township years ago and I think they mm -hmm. not that many years ago. I want to age yeah. my that much. Yeah, it's way back. But it was about 15, 20 years after that, and they, they still talk about they played um, uh, they played Central in the state semifinals, and and your uncle pitched, and it was like a one nothing, and it was like a game was like a 14, 15 inning game, and it was, mm -hmm. it was crazy. So um, crazy that that's the last time they won. So maybe 2021, uh, 22 will be uh, time time to get another ring, right? Yeah, yeah, that's a huge goal. I know uh, everybody on the team. We we uh, we might not have the biggest names on our team, but we got a bunch of Bayville boys and you know blue collar kids, and they they go to work. And we're uh, we're gonna we might get a little bit of hype coming in winning OCT, but we're gonna shock a lot of people. We're gonna be a really good team and compete for a state title for sure. Love it. Well, good luck, Cam. Best of luck. Yeah. It'll be fun to watch you uh, keep growing and 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 get down to Florida and, and kind of represent Jersey well down there and, and, and shuffle a little bit. And uh, we'll have to do this again sometime with, with better internet hookup. Yeah. I might have to use my phone. Thank you very much for having me. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Have a great night, Ken. Yes, sir. You too.